start is literally about to start. I'm really nervous. It's snowing and it's just about doing the process. I've done the training. This should be the fun part. See you on the other side. <laughs> So you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, I needed a goal, one that scares me enough to motivate me. I'm aware that I'm getting older and my speed will soon start to drop off. So before it's too late, I want to have a shot at bettering my 10K PB. I haven't been close to it since I set it four years ago. So I know I've got my work cut out. Anyway, let's rewind. Now, I'm not able to do this on my own. I'm happy to put my hand up and say that my self-discipline isn't great. So I have got the help of Humango, the coaching AI app. Now that said, I have been working with a running coach, Tom, for the last few months. So instead of changing things completely, I'm gonna combine them both and get a little bit spoiled here. Now this is a new approach, but one that I'm hoping is gonna keep me on track. And I can't expect Tom to keep an eye on everything I do, but I know that Hugo, the online coach as part of Humango, will spot everything, including those sessions that maybe I don't complete and keep nudging me in the right direction. So I feel that with the help of Hugo and Tom and knowing that you guys are watching me and that added motivation is going to mean I've got the best chance of nailing this. With that in mind, it's probably time I went and got started with this hard work. All right, six weeks to go to race day. Things need to start getting serious because I've been bimbling along with my training, doing what I fancy, racing what I like. But now, if I'm gonna run a PB, I've gotta get serious. So Tom's given me today's session. Humango knows what it is, so hopefully I'll get some good feedback from Hugo. Bit nervous, but yeah, I can't scatter around this hard work for much longer and expect to run a PB. It's the reality of running. So of it's gonna hurt. Okay, just back home having finished my run and I am relatively within the boundaries. So here I've got, what did I do? 47 minutes, so I think for me that's not bad. That's only easy morning run. Another one ticked off. Okay, it's time for a bit of a training update as I'm on the sofa after a big weekend. But first, just a recap on some of my previous weekends. I think it's fair to say I've been racing quite a bit. So I did do a 10K. I've also had a 30K swim run race. I did a swim run event in London and then I've had an epic weekend just gone. And it's fair to say that the signs haven't really been great, which might be a sign I'm slightly overdoing it because my 10K was a whole two minutes off my PB. Uh, I mean, lots of reasons for that, including I probably didn't have the best preparation with a good night the night before, but um, we'll brush over that. Anyway, I am three weeks in, which means three weeks to go, and I'm sat on the sofa at the end of a weekend feeling exhausted, but kind of quite content, although slightly embarrassed, because I do have a confession to make uh, to you guys and I haven't even told my coach or put the events into Humango. Obviously it's been uploaded, but this weekend I raced three races. I was supposed to have a rest day. Uh, yeah. So I apologize to, um, Humango and to Hugo and to Tom for that. And it has meant that I'm going to do a replan. So I'm going to ask Humango just to reset everything for the next three weeks. Cause I think there might be a few changes needing to be made after this big weekend, at least for the next week. So I'm going to see what it comes up with for that. I know I've still got some key sessions coming up soon, but just for the rest of the run, like how much rest to have and how much of the mileage to put in. So I'm interested to see what that looks like, but and I know I've overdone it slightly, but for me, that's what I love. I love racing and 
it's important to enjoy my training because otherwise I'm probably not going to do it. So it is a balance. Um, I'm trying to get that balance just right. But yeah, tired, satisfied, but happy at the moment. Today's session and it is 56 minutes. The target is tempo. I quite like tempo workouts. So two lots of 15 minutes at 4.30 pace with a nice three minute recovery. Another session ticked off. I feel like they're getting a bit more important now as we're getting closer and I am listening to the advice I'm getting and sticking to the key sessions as much as I can that Tom has set and he knows me well so he knows sort of how much to push me and I'm also listening to Hugo who's just been kind of balancing well humango I guess but Hugo talks to me um, balancing out those other sessions around it so the plan or the idea is Tom is giving me those few key sessions a week and then humango is helping to make sure I don't overdo or do too little when it comes to keeping that base work in so the recovery runs those more aerobic steady runs and anything that kind of complements the real tough key sessions that that Tom knows the ones not the ones I like it's probably the ones I dislike the most like <laughs> anyway that's um I'm getting the runs done and that is the main part of this anyway I know I've got blue sky behind me right now but as you can probably tell it is freezing so I'm excited to say that we are about to head off to some sunshine. Uh, so we're going to Tenerife for a GTN shoot. It kind of sounds glamorous. It's like a training camp, except the difference being I probably will do less training than normal because we basically film in all the daylight hours, especially this time of year when it's only light from say eight until six. So I will have my work cut out. Well, so will Hugo, because there might be a few adaptations needed, but I'm gonna do my best to stick to my program because I know we're getting close and every session counts. <laughs> Another one ticked off. So it's the end of our week in Tenerife. And that means it's only just over one week until my 10K race. And yeah, I'm quite chuffed for myself, but that's three key sessions done out here. And the first one was in the evening and it felt horrific. The second one pretty much made me cry. And this one is by far means not the best, but it's in the bank and I'm trying to be positive because surely soon it's going to start getting easy. It must be taper time. Uh, but yeah, spoiled for Tenerife because this is really just giving me that mental pickup even though I'm absolutely exhausted from work. Um, I'm hoping I can kind of roll off this into a week of a little bit more quality and then into taper time. So yeah, I'll speak to you again when I'm back in the UK. Might be slightly different story then. It has been a whole two weeks since any form of racing and I've convinced my coach that running a local park run is a good idea. We only got back yesterday so I just want to get my legs moving and see where I'm at. I just did a park run and I love park runs so I'm excited about that however I if you double my time today I've got to find more than a minute and a half to get to my PB. And that's doubling the distance. So I've got to run so much quicker than I've just run. Uh, not sure how that's gonna happen. On the plus side, I actually feel good running, which is the first time I felt good since um, being away in Tenerife. We just got back yesterday. Um, shocked to the cold, but I feel like that work that I battled through might start to come in. 
fingers crossed as I get an easier week which I've been promised is ahead of me then um, yeah there is a chance that some miracles can happen <laughs> who knows Now I'm aware that you guys know me as a GTN presenter and you see us doing lots of outdoor fun activities. It looks like we train all the time, but in reality, we don't. In fact, I don't really have any more time than if I was in a normal job. We just have to be, try to be fit enough, I guess, to do crazy challenges. A little bit like last week in Tenerife when I was racing Mark up a volcano on a bike. And now bear in mind, I am training for a running race at the moment. So that probably didn't help my training and it probably showed in the event itself. But I still think that the perception is that we as presenters are fit and running is easy for us. I mean, that might be true for Mark and James, but I am not a natural runner and I do have to work and part of the reason I haven't actually talked about my actual PB target time because I don't feel the time matters it's more the fact it's me against the clock and me against me because there are hundreds well actually thousands of runners out there who are much quicker but I don't worry about that I know that there's no one else to blame if I have a subpar performance and I think that's part of the thing that I really love about running but anyway that is my spiel over it's the end of the day we just finished filming the show and I've got a run to go and do Okay, it's Friday, so it's two days out from my race. Oh my goodness. Best part is it's a rest day today, which I don't get very many of them, so it feels great, especially when I've had a taper. On the flip side though, when I've got like lots of energy and almost too much time to think, I start getting a bit nervous, which is really weird because yeah, I don't normally have a race that's quite so important. But anyway, I am on a mission right now. I'm on my way to meet Tom in person, my run coach, well not meet, to catch up with. Um, and just talk race tactics. I'm not gonna film it just because he's not feeling great. So um, we'll be keeping our distance. Uh, but yeah, I've got so many questions for him. So I'll report back and see how it goes. Oh, I had so many questions. It's actually the first time that Tom and I have talked about race tactics. So lots to cover, terrain, tactics, training. He's assured me that this week of training not going how I wanted is okay. So I'm trusting him on that one. I'm just gonna put it to bed because nothing I can do about it now. But then we did move on to the race itself, obviously. And I think it scares me the most. It's the fact I've got to go out in 340 or quicker yeah, I'm feeling really nervous now. Work is done. I'm gonna try and enjoy the rest of my rest day. Just got a little shake out tomorrow. And then, yeah, it's a big dance. Oh, oh gosh, I feel a bit sick. I've come to Telford for what is known as one of the fastest 10Ks in the country. We're just outside of Birmingham. I'm not sure these conditions are known as the fastest 10K conditions. However, I'm gonna to stick to my race plan. So I've had a good chat with my coach and Tom has told me it's gonna hurt. I've gotta go out hard. It is the first couple of K downhill. So I will be ahead and it might even be a positive split. So my first 5K is probably gonna be quicker than my second, which is not how I like to run. I like to run comfortably and then push it at the end. So I'm going totally out of my comfort zone, but I'm trusting the process. Um, I followed all my training on Humango and all of what Tom has set me. Um, like, you know, there's bits that have been missed and haven't gone to plan, but that's too late now. I'm here and I'm committed and I'm just gonna trust it and see what happens. I'm really not comfortable going out this hard. I'm gonna have to do a really decent warm up to be ready to run fast for this 10K. So um, yeah, I think it's time to go and try and get warm and hope that the snow stops. <laughs> Um, hooray! Start is literally about to start. I'm really nervous. It's snowing and it's just about doing the process. I've done the training. This should be the fun part. See what it's like. <laughs> Okay, I've had a moment to compose myself, but this is a free for all. I've no idea if I'm in the right place. There's some fast girls here, I'm going to try and stick with them.
just miss me dry wrenching. Oh. That's the most hideous wreck ever. Can I run a PB? Hello. The whole way I was like, I'm off pace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if a race you normally go and cool down. Today I have warmed up and it's still not really sunk in, so much so that I was chatting to a friend on the phone afterwards. And they're like, what? You ran a 37.15? And I was like, I think I did. And I actually had to go and check the results. And yes, I did. I did a PB by 12 seconds. And I don't even know what I said at the finish because there was very little oxygen going to my brain. But now I've started to digest it. And I'm just so chuffed because I actually felt a lot of pressure for this. And I love racing. So much so that a few weeks ago I did three races in one weekend, which Hugo did not appreciate and said I was overtraining and needed to have some time off. And during this race, I was thinking when I didn't think I was on target that yeah that'll teach you Heather you should have followed the plan you should listen to Tom your coach you should have listened to Hugo and seeing what Hugh Mango was suggesting however I did have a quick flick onto Hugh Mango last night just to see what it thought my form was and my form has been coming up over the last few days so I was trying to go okay the numbers suggest it's possible but I just couldn't believe it and I purposely didn't have an actual target time yes a PB anything quicker than 37.27 if it was 37.26 I would have been over the moon and I knew from what Tom had told me I had to set off hard and I went off 335 my first K second K 335 bearing in mind to run a PB or to run a 3720 I had to do 344 so I was way ahead and then it all came crashing down rather quickly and I did a 350 on my third kilometer don't worry I'm not gonna talk you through the whole race however in my head that's why it broke and I was already readjusting my target saying okay just get under 39 that will be great thinking like oh I wish I was a faster runner these people just flying past me and I really dug myself in a hole but I was just like you just got to keep pushing and just hope and then I went through at 5k in 1820 which is not far off my PB I was like oh my gosh amazing and then I was like oh no that means I've gone out too hard I'm gonna die and yeah I died but I hung on enough. Um, so much went on in my mind in that race. It's like another video for itself, but I still am struggling to kind of believe that I did it. And I'm just super chuffed and just really grateful for everyone kind of giving me the support to get there. And I didn't have a self-belief all the time because my times in training were not suggesting I could do it. So if you guys are training for a race and you're having a stress or you're getting really nervous just beforehand, you do sometimes have to just trust and see what's, what will happen. and. That's what I did. I just like, this hurts. Okay, it's supposed to hurt. Just keep pushing, keep pushing. And when I saw the clock at the end and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get under. I was just, I couldn't believe it. So yeah, I'm super, super chuffed. However, I've now had time to recover and I'm like, oh, maybe next time I need to try and get under 37. Might look for some sunshine and yeah, give 36.59 a crack. Let me know what you think. Um, anyway, if you guys have got your own targets for the new year, do share them with us in the comments section below. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed my suffering. You know I like the warm weather and this is what I'm enduring today. So yeah, give us a like.